Previously on Steins Gate Zero. Let's see how jacked it. Oh my god! Oh, he, has, he actually didn't change his, uh, his portrait at all. It looks, it still looks the same. Old man, it is negative 20 degrees Celsius out here. What are you doing with that, with that short sleeve shirt? What, you think a little cold weather is gonna make me put some more clothes on? You want me to hide these fucking guns from all the ladies out there? Uh, Jack Hummer! And now back to the fucked up history. Hello! Sneaky B. Back with some more, Steins Gate Zero. When we last left off, we jumped back in time a bit, actually quite a bit, to see uh, uh, what happened to uh, Kagari. And it seems that uh, only like five minutes after landing in 1975, uh, Suzua is like, all right, you, this aimless little girl, go out there and find some shit for me. And I'm gonna go do my own thing. We'll be back here in an hour. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to you. Of course, she never came back. Fucking great job, Suzua. Guardian of the year here. But I have a feeling just the way that that's set up and the time sort of makes sense, I feel like it's gonna end up being that Kagari is probably uh, Kreese's mother. She looks so much like her. Wouldn't actually be Kreese, cause that would be too long, but, but I can definitely see it being her uh, her actual mother. Now what's significant is that's gonna hold, I'm not really sure. I guess that if it were the case that Suzuha brought her here, that would mean that she sort of started the whole time machine and time creation scenarios, right? Because uh, they wouldn't have happened if Kurisu hadn't been born and created them herself. I suppose maybe someone else could have. Maybe that's what the significance is, is that Suzuha is, you know, created this herself by bringing K Kagari here. Although would that also lead to a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know, like a closed loop of events? I, I don't know. It starts getting a little confusing at that point. But anyway, uh, you guys explained a few things. Uh, first off, uh, Leskinen, his uh, pronunciation of Rintaro is a, it's a Japanese thing. It's like, it, I don't think it translates terribly well to English, but uh, basically he's just not, he's doing what <laughs> what I was talking about before with the, how in, uh, in English, Japanese people seem to have a hard time with the R and the L sound. Um, he's basically doing the exact same thing. He's getting them mixed up. So instead of calling him Rintaro, he's calling him Lentalo, but it's not as obvious in Japanese as it is in English. Because they're both like spelled actually the exact same. So I don't I don't even know then how are you supposed to know if, if they're spelled the same way, how are you supposed to know that the one is pronounced one way and the other is pronounced the other way? Japanese fucking confuses me sometimes. Sometimes I feel like it's a crapshoot as well. Like it's all uh, just based on memorization, which is a lot of what fucking English is, which I think it's the most bullshit parts of English is like, like people are like, okay, all you gotta do is sound it out, except for these words. See, like this word is pronounced T-O-U-G-H. That's tough. Okay, now I'm gonna add an H on after T, and now it's T-H-O-U-G-H, and that's though. Why? Because fuck you. <laughs> you know, like, just shit like that. There's so many things and in instances like that in English, and I have, I'm not shocked at all that, you know, any foreigner that has a hard time learning English. It's, it, it, it could be fucking horseshit. Honestly, I thought uh, Spanish, when I was learning that, actually had a more consistent rule set than fucking English. So I don't know, I'd be curious to hear what like, if Japanese is similar in that way, or maybe it's more consistent in its own way. I don't know. I'm sure this, there's a lot I don't understand about it. I'm speaking as a very ignorant, uh, dumb American. So, you know, for those fluent Japanese people, uh, or at least have an idea about the language, is there actually a lot of memorization involved? I'd love to know. Oh, and you guys also told me some really interesting uh, bit of uh, fun fact trivia. So, uh, Kagri, the little uh, red-haired girl, is uh, actually voiced by uh, the same voice actress for Killua <laughs> from Hunter x Hunter. <gasps> Holy shit, wow. Wow, that changes everything. Oh my god. That means that I, if I wanted to, I could have pictured Kagari, who was like over there crying and being like, ah, oh, mommy. That could, that, that's Killua. Killua crying for his mommy. And you know how weird that is? Just thinking about that, it's just like, that seems wrong. <laughs> it just seems wrong. Killua doesn't cry. He only stares at things with dead eyes and then kills them later. But anyway, last episode, uh, Vandalia 1998 said, Dara watches Nico live streams. Why do I sound like that guy from Course Party? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because we're pointing out the, uh, the Nico Nico live stream uh, s service. And it turns out it's just me. It's just my live streams. It's my Twitch live streams. This is getting incredibly meta. I've broken past the fourth wall and into the fifth wall. Ah! Actually, you know how weird that would be? Like, if you actually really played a game and it just, it actually referenced something that you did throughout every public medium, you know, your artwork, your, your let's plays, your, 
some article you wrote, I don't know, anything. Just imagine playing through something and suddenly you see a reference to that thing that was your original idea. Like, I, like I'm imagining like uh, uh, Little Karibo, what, what it must have been like for him, assuming he he didn't already know about it from Yax Zero, that moment where the guy goes, screw the rules, I have money! <laughs> like that shit, I'd be like, oh, what the fu like, or Kamehameha, like, let's say Kamehameha pops out and he actually says bagels, like, I'd lose my fucking shit. I would generally shit my pants. That's gotta be a, a great and also confusing feeling. But anyway, Vidalia 1998, your hilarious comment is the reason why you are comment of the day. All right, you guys also tell me, I, I, I think I actually did this exact same thing in Stein's game. Like, this seems oddly familiar to me. Uh, it's not uh, Cafe Neon Squared, it's Cafe Nyan Nyan. So that said, all right, it, I, I feel like that my pronunciation for that was justified, all right, because that is literally what it says in mathematical terms is Nyan Squared. But it's pronounced Nyan Nyan. Also, I kept pronouncing uh, uh, Tenoji wrong. I, I was pronouncing like I did the guy from the Zero Escape series, Ten Miyoji, but no, this is Tenoji. Getting all these Japanese people mixed up, fuck. And also, you guys told me, uh, that's right, he was FB. I I completely forgot about that. He was the one that Moeka, like, worshipped, you know? And also, Nai was getting revenge for, uh, for him in one timeline, right? Because he had killed himself. Yeah, God, there were, so, there were so many different world lines and so many different uh, little details from the previous Stein skits. It was really hard to remember them all, but I appreciate you guys uh, reminding me of them. All right, so now we've jumped back to uh, Akabe's perspective again, and we seem to be at uh, the shrine that Luca works at, so not sure what exactly what he's doing here. It's been another few days, I think, so December 15th. Um, I walked onto the grounds of Yanabashi's shrine and quietly took a, took a look around. So a cast was sunbathing beneath the cold winter sky. There was no sign of anyone else. Lukaku wasn't back from school yet. Okay, I could talk to Karisu without anyone staring at me here. Except for that fox who keeps coming by and asking me to do shit for him. Da 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 I know I probably made this joke in my first Let's Play. I was supposed to meet with Dr. Leskin and Maho after this. Before that happened, I wanted to confirm something with Karisu. So I had to start the app. Whenever I talk to Karisu, I need to pay attention to where I was. So just so I got a quick save there, especially like am I get coming to like a decision point? People would stare if I didn't did it in a crowded place. And I couldn't do it around my family or anyone I knew. Oh, by the way, I, I had some of you guys would be like, uh, Nico, apparently there's a way to get all the endings in this game without having to retread stuff. But for the first ending of this game, I kind of want to do what I I think I I think I did this before maybe where I I just get the, uh, an ending of my own choosing. You know, like I make the choices here, not because I'm trying to get a certain ending, but just because uh, that's what I decide in the moment. You know, I think it makes things a little more interesting. If I have to go back and replay through stuff or whatever to get the remainder of the endings, that's fine. It's not it's really not a big deal, especially for a game like this where you can easily skip through dialogue. But I'll probably just do it for the first ending and then I'll use a guide for the remainder or whatever. I couldn't do it around my family or anyone I knew. In that sense, with the exception of the fact that Lukaku and my Miri might show up, Yanobiashi Shrine wasn't a bad spot. Alright, also, uh Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh you guys also pointed out the uh uh the Rhine app that I'm using to talk to everybody with. Uh, is an app that Okabe created himself, which is why he keeps seeing those emotes. So the, it's it's actually an app that he made and sold in the store himself, and so everybody just kind of uses it? Or is it just like an app that connects to other messaging services, so the emotes to him look like uh, Steins get related stuff, and to other people it looks like something else? I'm not really sure. Because I feel like if it were the case that it's like the super popular, uh, you know, message app that everybody has, wouldn't like... Maho look at it, look at him and be like, Wait a minute, aren't you the guy from the message app? You're one of my emoticons! Aha, you found me! <laughs> you, you got me! Who's this Zua? Why she look so angry in this emote? Hanashi <laughs> あとはあんたから見た私がどんな印象だったのか軽く聞かれるぐらいだと思う。それだ、ログだよ。それを聞きたかった。もしかしてこれまでの会話は全部記録されてるのか。最初に話したでしょ。私は私以外アクセス不可
Okay, so, but he's kind of nervous, right? That they'll end up coming across that and then knowing about, I guess, certain aspects of his himself and his life. I mean, I don't think he actually, he didn't ever actually mention any of the time jumping stuff, though. Probably <laughs> he sounds in pain. He's like, eh! <laughs> Yeah, I was a little late. Kur Kurisu and I have been talking for two weeks. Should have asked about this when I got the access key for Amadeus. <laughs> <laughs> no! Damn it! I swear to God, if you tell Leskin about this, Christina! <laughs> okay, for some reason you like to take your poop standing up? I told you that in confidence, damn it! <laughs> it's not very good at eating, though! It takes a certain skill to eat an eggplant, right? That was all, I didn't really care. クリスティーナって呼んだこととかああそれについては忘れてくれ人の記憶は曖昧で時間が経てば経つほど主観が入り混じるし物語が付与されていくその内容がポジティブかネガティブかに関係なく印象的な言葉しか思い出さないことも多
Wait, did, did he he has told her right that he knew the original Kurisu? I, I think he did. He just be like, "That's what I call the original Kurisu." There you go. So you have to nigga that the. I'm a set me is to do. But I was in a. I'm gonna go to the top. Cut the kidney not to show an account of the. So let me I just so so good today. But I see me come up to who she did you eyes or could do. Come up to tell all my that all. こっちが大学の講義を受けてる最中でもお構いなしで連絡してくるくせにスパイスピアフォンのバイブレイトラインでまでコメントしまくってきて Oh now we talk now you actually explain what Ryan is here Okay It's a messaging application developed by Itaru Shi Oh okay It's built uh, Oh developed by uh, Adaru I think I said it was by Okabe If both users have it installed they communicate with one another via voice and chat this is a privately developed software and isn't available on the internet. Right now, only Ataro Shida and his friends and acquaintances use it. I see. So, okay, I guess we gave it to Maho when we met it. That, that must be it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Ask Nico and thou shalt receive your information. I'll be it maybe a little bit late. <laughs> <laughs> she got mad at me. Oh, Christina, no king, a kinina, no, 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 <laughs> Could it be the, that, that person called Christina Aguilera? Jibunga,はりうっと女優並みの美貌の持ち主だとでも。見た目は関係ない。同じ名前の人に親近感を持つのと似たような意味よ。いや。つまりこう言いたいわけか。私は岡部倫太郎から親近感を持たれている。that's why you can hear it in his voice how he's becoming so much more comfortable talking to her. His his old self is starting to pop back out again. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Ritaro's voice actor, you could be lay on the lay on the fucking like tease. Yeah. Like mm. <laughs> the sexual tease. Whenever I talk to Kariso, I always want to tease her. I need I need to watch out. <笑><笑>可能性その <laughs>、okay, she okay, she didn't know. That's the point. She did not know that I knew her. I I thought either Akabe or Maho at some point had actually mentioned that, but I guess we just dodged it. Rut row. <laughs> but then I would have kept doing it. You don't get it. That's exactly what I'd love to do with you. I mean, what? <laughs> I never said that. I don't know you. Yeah, that was exactly right. That's exactly what Carisu said. But I didn't stop because you're so soon daring. The genius name Karisu Makise was the person I always wanted to be. どういうこと素直に名前を呼べないから照れ隠しで相手茶化した言い方をしたうん照れくさいあオリジナルだけじゃなくてえっと Oh, 
私何しろモニターの中にいる女の子と話すなんて一度もない経験だったからなあちょっ<笑>それはどうもんなんで赤くなってるんだあ,あ赤くなってなってないしおまけだ女の子扱いされるなんて思ってもみなかったからちょっとびっくりしただけで。Oh god, my, it's getting with me fucking my phone, isn't it? <laughs> Quick, Matara! Stick your USB in my port! Yes, yes, Carissa! Ah! I don't give a shit, this is pathetic! First roll off, oh, best roll off, oh, ah! <laughs> And if I wanted to stop talking, I'd just turn off my phone. <laughs> Even that reaction was just like Carissa. Oh, they were. Oh, uh oh. I shuddered. Was I about to say? Uh, <laughs> see, this is why this cannot be good for you, Akabe. This cannot be good for you. A, this was a 3D model on a screen. A tiny collection of zeros and ones in the shape of a human. What was I about to say to her? オリジナルの私がっていう意味だけどどういう関係だったの少し興味あるクリスティーナって呼ばれても私は怒らなかった怒ったけれどそれでも笑っているした I was the violent urge to throw. I could see Carissa in front of me, covered in blood. She was looking at me, her eyes cold. I touched the smartphone and ended the call. Get out of my head, Carissa! I became too dizzy to stand. I tried to throw up, but nothing came out. My hands were shaking. That's right. I can't change reality. But there I was, trying to talk to Kurisu like nothing had happened. I was treating her like the real Kurisu, trying to avert my eyes from what I'd done. I was just clean to Kurisu. This was wrong. I shouldn't talk to Kurisu anymore. Calls from Carisu. I heard in the middle of the conversation she was probably mad. <laughs> I shouldn't talk to her anymore. Hi! <laughs> How's it going? Nanda. Nanda? Janai. Kuni Kirinan de Sire. Tokastano. Nanda Monai. Demo. Hidoi Kaoiro Sterejanai. So, like there, I could have, cho I, I could have chosen to ignore her. Honestly,何でもない。放っておいてくれ。しばらく連絡してこないでくれると助かる。あまり無理せずに誰か知り合いに連絡しなさいよ。それじゃ。Carissa gave up easier than I expected. May she realize that as an artificial intelligence, there was nothing she could do. Realized. Just make her sound like a real person. And the second that thought crossed my mind, I almost saw an image of a bloody hand. I gritted my teeth and waited for it to pass. I should really turn my smartphone off till I calm down a little. And then I got see I got another quick save there, so that might have been a, a decision moment. I was fine just a moment ago. But not even hearing Carice's voice was enough to send me into panic. Let's call her back again. Oh no, this is here we go. I could turn my phone off. That's gonna lead to something, right? Because my phone will be off, I won't hear like something happen. I go back to how I was half a year ago. The phone went silent. I slowly stood up. If Congo saw me like this, he'd worry. 
I should get out of here. I was staggering a little, but I could walk. I felt very thirsty. All right, just turn it off. I'm, I'm sure that's one of the, the big decisions there. That's probably going to come back to bite me in the dick. I gulped down an entire bottle of mineral water and caught my breath. There was still a little time before my meeting. I wanted to get some air up here and recover a little. I looked down over the scenery below the overpass. The city was in the Christmas spirit. The atmosphere was charged with excitement. It was the exact, exact opposite of me. I took more deep breaths. Still felt like I wanted to throw up. I was getting a headache, too. If I went to Dr. Leskin in like this, I'm sure I'd worry him. <sighs> and then I realized that the two girls coming up the stairs were looking at me. I peered into the late afternoon darkness to try and make out their faces. One of them, a girl with a short haircut, waved. Oh, God, it's Chi! <laughs> and budget Kaede! Kaede! Konnichiwa. Oh, it wasn't Miri. Miri keeps talking about it all the damn time. <laughs> Which was the horny one? They were Miri's friends and fellow cosplayers. Their cosplay names were Kaede and Fubuki. Kaede! I didn't know their real names. Which was Kaede and... Which was Fubuki again? Oh, I feel fine, really. I'm just... Oh, God! Ah! Oh, sorry. Anyway, it's good talking to you. Bye. <laughs> oh, I made them worry here, and they talked to Miyuri, which caused a big fuss. I didn't want her to worry about me when she didn't have to. Shouldn't have to come back to Akio Bar anyway. I'd run into people I knew just walking through town. Should have gone toward Kanda when I left the shrine. いつも何だか辛そうに見えます。そうか。そうだよ。ふぶきちゃん。そんなオカリンさんを見てる。マユシも辛そうで。ま、ふぶきブリンビンブラントエシェット。私もオカリンさんとマユシのこと見てると泣
A stray sheep. Ah. <laughs> Holy shit! Jumping world lines already! The world twisted and warped. I felt horribly dizzy. Sometimes my vision would blur for no reason. But this was nothing like that. It was like my mind itself was b being wrung apart. Like the world itself was changing. Deja vu. I knew this feeling. This is Stein's gate power! This was. <gasps> yeah, reading Steiner. At last, the color came back to my vision. All the shouts of the, the pedestrians and the noise of the passing cars came flooding in at once. Fuge and Kaede. Two of them were still in front of me. They looked worried. I'd just gotten dizzy for a moment. That was also being talked about in the news, though, right? The symptoms of feeling of uh, reading Steiner. Like it's also some kind of disease. At least that's what everybody's thinking it is. Party! I said their goodbyes and walked toward the station. Watched them go, only half halfway paying attention. What's that? Another passerby has noticed me standing there. We're all experiencing the time sequentially, so we'll connect a moment after another. But I knew what I just saw. That's right. I, I was the one who understood. That feeling was reading Steiner, which meant that the world, the world line had changed. <laughs> Die! Shut up! Have turn my phone off! I shook my head and tried to get the idea out of my mind. It was impossible. The world line could only change if someone had altered the past. I'd only ever seen world lines change after I'd sent D-mails with the phone wave. Name subject to change. <laughs> That's right. We, we never changed it. It's always the phone wave. Name subject to change. Okay, short for a DeLorean mail, a text message that is capable of traveling to the past. Emails are sent from a cellular phone to the phone wave. Uh, however, they can't be sent too close to the present. Also, they may only contain a little over 36 bytes of data. Right. Uh, Future to gadget number eight, a microwave oven that can be remote controlled by a cell phone. By chance to gain the ability to send emails, emails, messages that could go back to the past. After he arrived in the beta world line, Okabe destroyed it and disposed of the remains. But I destroyed the phone wave, so, so that could never happen again. I sacrificed Kurisu for it. But then who did this? And how? What if someone made a device identical to the phone wave? Ah! Jelly Muri again! Fuck! <gasps> Muri. I need to see Muri is safe. I'll call her right now. The line change change meant something terrible had happened to Miyuri again. Just imagining it made me shiver. I've seen her die so many times, I'm just like getting old now. <laughs> that couldn't happen. It wouldn't. That's what I wanted to believe, but I couldn't help but remember all the times I'd seen her die in the Alpha World line. That World line really had it out for Miyuri. For now, I need to get in touch with her as soon as possible. I wanted to hear her voice. Uh, what do I do? Hey, my phone's back on again. I picked her name off the con contracts list on my phone and dialed. I hear the f the the count the call sound in my ear. There was no sound of her picking up. Seven seconds, eight, nine. Each second made the fear worse. A cold sweat dripped down dripped down my back. Twelve seconds, thirteen seconds, fourteen seconds. Get calling and praying anyway. Eventually, after a minute of ringing, the electronic sound suddenly cut off. <laughs> Ah! Yay! You reached my voicemail! No! Thought you died again. The relaxed, easy going voice I heard most definitely belonged to Miyuri. Ah, 
。ごめんね。えー、カバンの中に入れてたから。なるほど。Nothing can happen at all. もしかして、何か急な用事だった ?I need toothpaste for your eyes, stat! いや、気にしなくていい。少し、不安になっただけだ。今どこだ誰かと一緒かこれからバイトだよ何時まで8時過ぎぐらいまでそうか分かったオカリ遊びに来てくれるの Yes いや、no. 今日は用事があってな無理なんだバイトが終わったらラボにも顔を出すつもりだよわかったもし行けるようだったらそこで合流して一緒に帰ろう本当<笑>今日は珍しいねあー、ウィアーサファイキュッファじゃあバイト頑張れよ I hung up. He was safe. Which meant that the world line change probably had nothing to do with her. <laughs> at least not this time. I thought I could let my guard down. Or maybe that was just a daydream. There was no world line change at all. It seemed awfully realistic for that to be the case, though. Just to be safe, I turned my phone on, ag on again. The icon was still there. The same place it had been in the last several times I'd used it. I felt a little hesitation. Just after what happened. Could I really contact her after that? <laughs> But I decided it was important to see what was going on first, so I tapped the icon. Pick up, Crazy, you bitch! Crazy's voice was the same as ever. だからそれについてはさっき謝ってもらったから私は一度許したことをいつまでもぐちぐち言う人間じゃない、okay. さっき謝ったええかけ直してきたじゃないかけ直した俺がおほんの7分43秒前のことを忘れちゃったの俺が謝ったのかお前に大丈夫クリスは確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。彼は確かに言っていたことは。<laughs> the apocalypse or whatever? What, like, what just happened? I didn't remember that. I remember turning off the phone, but I didn't remember anything about calling her. The Amadeus Carisu back after that. The old me would have insisted that I was right and that she was mistaken. I, I did, though, right? Oh, wait. I look at the backlog here. Oh, no. She, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't actually apologize. I, I picked up the phone. She called me. I said, you know what exactly what it is? It's room to hang up. It's something wrong. Nothing. You look so pale. It's nothing. Don't call me anymore for a while. Okay. No, no, no. I, this is still the same one. I, I thought I when I, I thought I remember when I, I picked up the phone, I, I thought he'd apologize or something. I don't know, it, was, it, it's such a, it was such a minor detail that I, I wasn't really expecting to have to remember if he did or not. So, no, he didn't. But now, I wasn't sure. After all the different pasts I experienced, all, and all the sadness and pain I'd gone through, even six months later, I was still exhausted. What had really happened? And what hadn't? What was right here, and what was, what was wrong? I wasn't sure anymore. I just wanted to, didn't want to think about it anymore. The past, the future, and the fate of the world. I had nothing to do with any of it. I'm 
しようとしていたかわかるかレスキネン教授と真帆先輩とこの後待ち合わせでしょ私について報告する予定じゃない Evidently my memory is much worse than ever god そうか真帆先輩にあんたのことをあらかじめ伝えておきましょうか本当に大丈夫だ心配かけてすまないあんまり無理しないでよあんたと最後に話したのが私でしたなんて結果になるのはごめんだからね<笑> I chuckled bitterly and ended the conversation Hmm, okay So maybe whatever choice I would have made there uh, It would have, I, I would have the opposite effect here or like I would say I, I caught I did I didn't turn my phone off instead actually kept it on and called her back and said I was sorry and vice versa I called Daro too just in case and evidently I really was on my way to see the professor Maho he also told me that almost all the events of the last few days matched my memory of them which meant that even if the world line had changed nothing had changed nearby where I could have seen it there was no problem or at least there shouldn't have been a problem it's possible that with that that moment of dizziness was just the result of mental illness. Experiencing those same sensations brought up by past trauma caused my memories to get confused. Maybe that was it. The phone wave didn't exist, so there was no way the past could have changed. That's right. That was all. I kept telling myself this as I went to see the professor. Who is now a mutant monster? Oh my god! Ah! Maho, get the machine guns and machetes! I met with the professor and Maho in a hotel room. Sorry, Jay.今のところ、エムデオスとのコミュニケーションはうまくいっているということでいいんだね、リンタロ。リンタロ。ええ。会話にそこが出ることもありませんし。中南米に聞けたいんだが、クリストの距離感はどうかな距離感というと、どういうこと
彼女だって恋をする可能性は十分にあるいやぜひしてもらいたいと思っている See, like, I, this is fucked up. Like, this, what, what he's doing right here, and, and especially even, like, like telling him, like, like, I hope she falls in love with you. I mean, and he's already, you know, been let on that, you know, him, his relationship with the original Kurisu was probably something more than just friendship. So, and the fact that he's just kind of, like, toying with him with this is, it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up. Amadeus falling in love. Oh, <laughs> ジョタンだよ、ジョタン。魔法は怒ると怖いから気をつけた方がいい。ちょっと聞こえますよ。Oh, so yeah, what does she Judy? Professor quickly left the room. He ran away, didn't he? Fucking pussy. Mattaka. Christo, he kills it. Do stand on the Mokandem of Sugun, you don't call it any Musubits Katagarano Kashira. まったくだな。ゴーさんは常にタップグールシーワーズ。あ、そうだ。岡部さん、ちょっと聞きたいんだけど。あの子がクリスが好きな言葉って何か知ってる言葉クラスティーナ。数字でも何でもいいの。何か
I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. Does she? Was she? Did she live here and then go to the U.S. or she? She from the U.S. and then come here? I. I don't really remember. I think. I think she was originally Japanese. Then went to the to like study in America and then came back here. I was a little worried about Miyuri too. Uh, who is it? Hey, hey, Ogarim. What's the best color for a school swimsuit? The hell are you talking about? Who gives a crap? White. Definitely white. I see. Excellent choice. Very few n normals will pick a white school swimsuit. You might be more of a pervert than me. I know, right? Fuck me. I actually just picked a, a colored random. Nice, Ogarim. I'm taking that advice. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah! Geico. In 50 minutes, can save you 50% of more car insurance. Blush. Stop with the commentary. Stop about bombing me. Fuck. What was the point of that? I'm going to call up a nominee's crease and make fun of you with her. Rah, 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 rah. I got up and went to leave. Let's go this. I'm out. And then I saw a small ornament that was decorating the door. So, yeah, well, it's like Christmas. Ka. Christmas? Ka? I remember how excited Miyuri was. Oh. Am I going to invite her to the, the Christmas party? You want to come dressed up like Santa, like all the other funny girls there? <laughs> I, li I love that little expression of hers right here. Like, when she puts a little class for little hands together, like, eh? <laughs> it's so funny. She's got a massive head of hair, too. It's disappointing, but there's Yes, I do. Yeah, we get fucked up. But we also get fucked up on Christmas, alright? We get fucked up on any holiday. Well, you don't know anything! You don't fucking know anything! Maho! Thought I heard something, heard something about that on TV somewhere. まあ、こっちには家族もいないから、どっちにしても一人ということに変わりはないんだけどね。あ、だからって寂しいと思ってるわけじゃないわよ。誤解しないでね。Or so she said, but being all alone on Christmas in a bustling town was probably pretty lonely. Of course, she'd probably get mad if I told her that, so I didn't. I'm not going to invite her to the Christmas party? So I thought I was going with her there. I was talking to the professor, I went to the lab. I've conferred on the phone and the mirror was just fine, but I wanted to see her for myself. As soon as I walked up there, I saw her lying jellified jell on the floor. I was like, fuck me! I should have gone to see her at work today! I can see from the outside and the lights were in the lab were on. I ran up the stairs to get away from the cold and open the door. I felt a small impact on my chest when I opened the door. Ah! I was like, oh god, am I being attacked by SWAT team members again? No, it's just Lukaku. Hi. Uh, Okabe-san, have you been working out? Your your chest feels exceptionally ripped today. Evidently, he was just about to leave. Lukaku looked up at me, apologetic. For some reason, he was blushing a little. Oh, come on. Of course he does. Didn't you see that ending? Are you two fucked like monkeys? Only Dara and Lukaku were in the room. So sign Yuri or Suzuha. もしかして俺を待っていたのかはい。と言っても別に大した用があったわけじゃないんです。差し入れを持ってきただけで。うめんじゅ、もらってよ。ばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんでばんで
I still doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> I don't like how he sounds there. Darn on eating about half the box. Okaku <laughs> looked up at the clock and started to fidget. お客さんが来ることになってるんです。客ルカ子の子いえ、父のお客さんです。なぜか僕にも同席してほしいと言われまして。父は普段同じ趣味を持った人を呼んで長い時間話し込んだりするんです。難しい話ばかりで僕には
<笑>いけませんそんな毒の誰とも知らない男とのお付き合いなんてお父さんは許しませんよ違うよそんなんじゃないいやもうブルーテッ That was a joke, but evidently he was serious about it. His tone was far less joking than usual. He fit his son goofy as shit. Must be hard being a dad. Okay, I, I, you guys were telling me how, like, he sounds less, uh, less goofy in more serious situations. It seems like him being more serious, and he still sounds fucking goofy to me. How about Dara's side when it came to his hobbies, though? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. He's ruined a lot of my favorite chairs with that shit. I was out there fighting crime, Daddy! I'm a superhero! Oh, I knew it. That makes sense. Yamashi Kotuga Nainer, Yeru Hazdayu. Zua glanced at me, then signed resignation. Hito Sangaste Tanda. Hito? Suriti Epa Utuko? For Kagari. Tinga Ute Terujanaika. You know, one thing, though, I would have to say. Um, with just how similar that Kagari looks to Karisu, I, I would be surprised that she wouldn't automatically... I, I mean, I guess, has she not maybe seen what Karisu looks like? Has she seen the... She probably she hasn't seen the one on his phone, obviously. I guess I figured that she would know what she looks like, but even when she came to, to the uh, to the past before, assuming the Karisu wasn't alive in the future when she was around, which she wouldn't be, actually. She wouldn't be, because she, she, she died at this point. Actually, she probably doesn't. She probably has never seen her before. But maybe if she does, or when she does, then she'll be like, oh, hey, this looks a lot like Kagari. That was a strange way to put it. I got some of a dog who looked back at me. Yeah, for some reason I've just kind of neglected to mention it till now. She was looking down at her feet. I can see she regretted bringing it up. She's dead! Nineteen ninety twelve years ago. Wait, I thought it was nineteen seventy five. You lost her in nineteen ninety eight. So it wasn't just Suzuo who came from the future. It took some time for the meaning of that to sink in. I'm confused. They were. They were nineteen seventy five. Why she saying it was nineteen ninety eight now? Maybe the point was that. She just brought that up, but it hadn't actually happened in that point in time or something. So maybe maybe she was like saying, okay, we were in 1975 looking for the computer, and then came back and went to 1998, and then I lost her. I, I don't know. I'm a little confused. Okay, here we go. I guess so, unless that time jump or whatever, that sudden time change actually changed this as well or something, and like Kagari, no. I don't think so. I guess they just either didn't explain it that well before or I just 
didn't uh, fully understand it as well. I didn't understand the what she was saying. And make she, she wasn't specific, specifically saying in that moment is when she lost her. Yes, the uh, Y2K. Problem where old computers would supposedly have errors after the year 2000. Almost all computers stored only the last two digits of the year in order to save memory. For this reason, when 1999 became 2000, the computer's data would change from 99 to 0. Since the programs were never equipped to handle this, it was thought that the computers would treat the year as 1900 a malfunction. While an error with a home user's computer would not be as severe an issue, a malfunction in a medical, financial, or military computer could cause disaster. For all this reason, for, for this reason, all these programs across the world were rewritten by hand starting in the mid 1990s. The process was successful in January 1st, 2000 came and went without serious incident. That was one of the big events at the end of the last century, along with Nostradamus' prophecy. But in the end, after all the fuss made by the media, pundits, nothing really happened. Was that because John Tina had come from the future to fix it? If that was the case, then... Wow! So no she must have remembered something, she, something because she swallowed her words with a bitter expression. In the end, she never managed to find her. Dara's words were soft. Alright, maybe I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll look at it and be like, oh my gosh, Sarah looks just like Rizu. Be honest, after refusing all of her requests to save the world, I was feeling a little guilty. I'd like to help her if I could, but I want to know what she'd do after she found her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? That slang that means okay. Yes. Wow. I couldn't possibly figure that out. They really needed a definition for that. Ten. Okay. Ah! Name was an unusual one. A girl who was part of Dara's group in the future, who had the name Sheena. Miri's daughter. Of course, it was possible Miri would choose to have a child in the future. But the fact that I'd never even thought about it made the shock that much worse. She had a daughter. She must have had a partner. Is it me? And the partner couldn't be me. Because I died in 2025. Oh, okay. Hmm? Wait a second. She was 10 in 2036. Then wouldn't she then she would have been born in 2026. I have to learn more, but if I died in 2025, was it just possible? Maybe. Barely. That it could be me. Oh. <laughs> mm. That just couldn't be. No! No! The Miri ending isn't canon! Just like Suzu had appeared before Daru, she was going to appear before me. <laughs> Who's the dad? Tell me! I 
couldn't ask. え?ちまち。シーナってことはミュージはそのままってことだよね。つことは。かなりは繊細孤児だよ。ミオリがなかった彼女、マヨネさんが引き取って育てたんだ。ああ。なんかそれ、マヨシらしいかも。I realized I was relieved in more ways than one, and I hated myself a little for it. Damn it! I'm hit. Miyushi's never gonna get with me! Cause I love Kurisu fuck too fucking much! Die! Even if she did marry someone else in the future, as long as that made her happy, it was for the best. この時代には知り合いなんているはずもないからきっとずっと心細い思いをしてるはずなんだその子はどうしてはぐれてしまったんださっきトラブルと言ったがあ、マンシーのサマリバーディスポイントアフタービングトゥエルファキングイヤーズ
crap! The only knew that Suzuma was from the future, but telling her about her future daughter would be going too far. He changed the subject. But, hey, look over there! Juicy chicken number one! <laughs> It's fucking goofy ass music. え、へへへ。え、へへへ。あ、あ、それ クリスマス。クリスマスパーティーのことかな。うん。別に何でもいいぞ。食べられるものならな。クリスマスパーティーか。父さんがどこからか美味しいチキンを調達してきてくれたことがあったっけ。それをマヨネーズに調理するって言って父さんが止めて。But dad stopped her. No. No, he's not it. He's the best real estate manager I've ever had. You can't kill him. Ah! Zuo was looking at Miyuri as if she was remembering the past or future as the case might be. いつもよりほんの少しだけごちそうってだけだったけど、それでも in the future when World War III was going on, there probably wasn't much time for a celebration. But even then, Miuri was still Miuri, trying her best to make everyone happy. Yay! Mary's head was full of thoughts about the Christmas party, it seemed. What? Here we go. Now I'm going to do it. The short little scientist. I almost said no, but I remembered someone. Maho Yajo. You said Christmas is something you always spend with your family, but... Come on, you little goofball. Okay. She kind of looks like you, Miyoshi. Mi Miyuri, if your hair was longer and you had green eyes. Uh, yeah. And smaller oh, boobs. Yeah. How is she going to spend her Christmas? Okay. All right. Well, this seems like a good spot to end things here for now. <laughs> Man, I had a lot of fucking wrong guesses this episode. I was like, all right, this this is where this is going. And no, nope, he, he didn't say anything about looking like uh, Karisu or, or anything. So I suppose I could just end up being a red herring. I mean, the fact that it was, okay, it was in 1998. So couldn't possibly be Karisu's mom. So I don't know. Maybe there's just no connection to Karisu. It's just that she's got red hair and blue eyes like Karisu. Just doesn't seem really likely, but whatever. Hey guys, look, it's Neko FC again. Neko Fried Chicken, my favorite restaurant. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already become Picky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.